Hello friends, welcome to the world of electrostatics. Today we are going to discuss about Gauss's law. Before going any further, let us first know who was Gauss. Gauss was a French mathematician who contributed significantly to many fields including number theory, algebra, astronomy, mechanics and the field of our interest electrostatics. Now let us understand what you mean by electric flux. Electric flux is the number of lines passing through a given surface area, denoted by phi. Let us move ahead and understand what is the physical significance of electric flux. For example, take the analogy of an umbrella. In case 1, the rain droplets are incident perpendicularly on the area of the umbrella passing through. And hence, the flux of rain is surface integral of rain intensity into the surface area. In case 2, the rain droplets are incident at an angle theta with respect to the area and hence, the flux due to rain is surface integral of rain intensity, surface area and cosine theta. Here, for the case 2, we can see there are three terms inside the integral. The rain intensity, surface area and cosine theta. The dot product between the two vectors results into cosine theta. Hence, in general we can write the flux due to rain is surface integral of rain intensity dot ds bar. There are basically two types of surfaces, closed surface an open surface. The characteristics of the closed surface. Closed surface always encloses a volume. The unit area normal is always pointing outwards to this surface. The surface integral um, is denoted using a small circle on the integral side. The characteristics of the open surface. The unit area normal can point outwards from any one side. The integral sign does not have any circle on, the, on it. Let us perform an experiment. Take two metallic spheres. Arrange them as shown. The inner sphere is charged with positive charges, whereas the outer sphere is not charged. It has been observed that the outer sphere gets equal amount of opposite polarity charges. Why is it happening? Gauss gave solution to this problem, which emerged as a law. He replaced the inner sphere by a point charge and the outer sphere by an imaginary closed surface called as Gaussian surface. And he stated that the flux emerging out of the closed surface depends on the charge inside the closed surface and the medium. Mathematically, the flux phi is equal to the charge enclosed by the volume divided by the medium constant epsilon naught. The flux phi according to the definition of electric flux can be written as E bar dot ds bar of the surface integral which is equal to Q enclosed by epsilon naught. Here, we note that the integral sign has been converted with a small circle onto it, which indicates that the surface is a closed surface. The, the, the charge is enclosed inside a volume. Hence, we can write the total charge inside the volume as volume integral rho v dv, where rho v is nothing but the volume charge density. Hence, equating both the sides gives us closed surface integral E bar dot TS bar is equal to the volume integral rho v dv. What are the applications of a Gauss law? Gauss law is used to find the electric field due to symmetrical charge distribution. I repeat, it's symmetrical charge distribution alone. For example, to find the electric field due to an infinite line charge, infinite sheet charge and volume charge. Hope you understood what you mean by Gauss law. Thank you.